All right, guys, hope everyone's well. Guitar in the back, eh? Yeah, yeah, I play. I play, yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't just put it there for the video. I did. I did put it there for the video. Hope everyone's well. Hope everyone's attacking uh, their training and uh, and whatever you're getting your teeth stuck into, you're, you're doing it uh, max effort. I uh, just wanted to share a little update on Complete Commando. So we're two years old now, can you believe it? I remember the first video I ever did was like, I think it's called um, Five Things to Get You Ready for the Royal Marines and I was like sat here like this, like a bit like sheepish and stuff. Got a couple of negative comments and like almost never wanted to post again. Uh, but here we are, two years later, gobbier than ever and, uh, and thinking I'm 10 men. Um, yeah, just wanted to say, so, so far we've had over 2,000 people on our programmes uh, in two years. Loads of uh, loads of people have become uh, Royal Marines in that time, which is for me. I'm uh, I'm so buzzing about that. Um, people from different different countries doing it. People uh, getting ready for different services. So we've had RAF Army Navy through. Again, we've had um, we've had some uh, Australian military, a couple of USMC uh, personnel as well. I think, and just some and just people who genuinely want to train train really hard and um, follow a good structured program. So absolutely over the moon with that. Uh, we've had firefighters as well. But um, yeah, we've got our next military camp, uh, July the 15th to 17th. So the first one, it was in March. We had 11 signed up to that. Really good. Everyone could come out of that, uh, could give us a six-figure grid reference, could climb a rope, and um, generally had a lot more knowledge going into the Royal Marines. Uh, this time we've got uh, 16 signed up. And again, we've we've um, worked out what we did right, what we did wrong on the first one, and we, we're looking to make it even better this time. We've got three Royal Marine uh, instructors on it, one serving, one reserves, and then we've got one uh, former Royal Marine who did a tour of Af Afghan tour of Iraq. And then we've got a Royal Marine sniper coming in to do a Q&A as well, so that's going to be absolutely amazing. And what we do is we take, take the guys up to um, North Wales, smash them on the mountains, teach them map reading, uh, loads of uh, loads of military basics, and then and basically it's just a weekend of, of getting them really prepared, really ready for uh, Royal Marines life, so that when they walk through the doors at Limston, they're already one step ahead of everyone else, meaning they can focus on being better recruits rather than flapping about trying to work out uh, what a compass is, and that and for that for us that's really important that we're sending good people into the Royal Marines. Ultimately, we're pa we're passionate about uh, the next generation of, of Royal Marines. And, uh, you know, there's potentially, potentially a lot of um, operations on the horizon with obvious things going around the world. So being able to send people in more prepared than we were when we went in, because I was absolutely, I didn't have a freaking clue. I was super fit. And that was, you know, I didn't, I had, I'd never seen a map, you know, there was so much for me to learn. Learning curve was like that. So if we can send people in already with some good knowledge taught by people who have been there and done it then uh, not only does it help the training team, but it also helps those recruits, you know, maybe even go on to be Diamonds or King's Badge. So um, so that's the goal. Also, retention rates is super important for us that Royal Marines aren't just throwing their money away on, on recruits who, uh, who aren't getting anywhere. If we can send good people in, then they save their money. It means it can be a better fighting force, which is awesome. Uh, we've got, obviously, Complete Commando Apparel here as well, all 100% uh, organic cotton, uh, um, sourced... Lot you know the the best I could find. I wear it every day, and I, I really like it for for training. So um, yeah, that's cool. What else we got going on? Uh, we're looking to do some some stuff in the community. We're based in in Merseyside, as you can tell by my accent. Uh, yeah, work that one out. But um, yeah, we want to start getting in and start working with young people and and the Gen Pop, and uh, and start giving that commando mindset. I think a lot of us who have been through the Royal Marines. We take for granted this mindset that's been instilled in us through military training. And um, there's also a lot of people who have done Royal Marine service and, and military service who have got great transferable skills for Civvy Street. However, I'd love to be able to utilise their, their knowledge and their experience within a military setting to teach uh, the next generation of people coming through and also those in high pressure jobs and just in general. You know, I, I think of... Um, I can think of five or six Royal Marines in my gym alone who are doing jobs that are, you know, that are, have good transferable skills, but they're not using military knowledge, and they've got so much experience under their um, under their hat, so to speak. 
it'd be great for them to be able to share that. And uh, especially with, you know, we, we all know that this, this generation, the, the, the younger people coming through now, you know, there's a lot of battles for their time with um, social media, iPads, all this, you know. We all talk about when we were seven or eight and we'd be down the park till till dusk. That doesn't really happen too much anymore. So if we can get, you know, if we can instill some of that back into into the young people, I think it'd be amazing. Uh, so they're the sort of things we're going on at the moment. We've still got the training programs. We're updating them all the time. Did an update this morning, in fact. Uh, we've got our, we've got our military prep weekends. I'll put that in the description if anyone's interested. I think we've got we we were going to have sixteen spaces, but we can open out for two more if if anyone's interested. And uh, yeah, got the apparel, and then we're looking to hit the community more. So, if anyone wants to get in, uh, get involved, any veterans out there who, who'd love to get um, their hand, hands uh, dirty again, teach map reading, get some people on the mountains, and that, drop us a message because we want to start dotting it around the country. Uh, that'd be awesome. Uh, yeah, cool. Speak to you soon, guys. Hope this update uh, was gave you a bit of an insight into what we're doing as a, as, a, as a company. And uh, hopefully ignited a bit of a fire in your belly to uh, to get out and smash it. Cheers, guys.